If I'm going to do this at any point in my life, this is the time. This is my son. This is my son. Yeah, you, you've given birth to a crazy man. <laughs> Today, I am happier than I have ever been. <laughs> it feels great. It was amazing. 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 This business taught me something very precious. Real estate was never real estate. It was the people that I met. It was the understanding that I was capable of things I never even thought I ever was. That's what real estate has given me. And I thank real estate, and I thank everybody in it. And I want to find my next real estate, and my next real estate, and my next real estate. Anything you need, your mom is here for you, okay? Thank you very much. I love you so much. My career it comes second to the journey of my life. I tell you the truth, I am scared as f but I couldn't be more excited for whatever comes next because I'm going to go at it just the same way I went and at it when I started this business. These are tears of joy, by the way. These are tears of joy. It's the beginning of something amazing, I'm telling you. You only have one life, so let's pay attention. I don't want to bring this to, uh, like, I'm sorry, dude. You know? I keep putting this pressure on myself to try to find out what it is that I want to do. I come to Paris, I leave everything behind. People think I'm crazy. You guys thought I was, you know, it was not a smart idea. Then I come here and I, I hate it. You know, I, I'm crying all the time and it's stupid because I'm supposed to be the happiest man in the world. That's, that's really who I am. That's actually what I'm after, but I'm not happy. Even though I advised him not to move here, it really hurts my heart to see him so sad, it does. I was really hoping that he would say he had this time of his life and that he's finding himself. This is the truth. I've been here with this beautiful apartment and these beautiful views and this beautiful city and beautiful women and beautiful uh, wine. This is the thing. I sit down here and I said, what the f am I doing? Like, where, where am I going? You know, if there is no goal or objective in your life, there is no purpose for you to do anything. I just don't think this is it, and I think now you actually know that. But it was something that you needed to do, and had you not done it, you would have regretted it for the rest of your life. For me to take a big risk with my life, I mean, I had to discuss it with Amelia, I had to discuss it with my therapist. I had to be told to take a risk. Luis? He just does it. As Luis would say, it tastes cojones. That's Spanish for balls. There is a beautiful thing about, about me moving to Paris because I've learned something. You can't be happy if you're running around in circles and not going after something. Yeah. The problem and the reason I've been so sad is because I cannot find that goal. Um, come back and sell real estate. <laughs> That's option one. You can always come back and sell real estate, right? Yes. Come back to us. <laughs> For now, I know this. Paris is not the place that I should be in. Check, done. Check, done. Bye, Felicia. And now come back, figure out what I want to do. Let's Get do angry, it. but in a good way. Angry. Angry, Fight like, for it. yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. I love you both. Oh, hug it out. <laughs> Stop. Hug it out. Thank you. This is my life now. Frederick, have you seen Golden Girls? This is that. Wow, oh, that's oh. great. Oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we're taking you back. When I left New York, I thought I was going to, I thought it was going, everything was going to be flying balloons and flying elephants. I'm going to Paris, you know. I, I told you, in five days. What are you doing in Paris? I want to live to a place you've never been to. That's the beauty of it. I was going to be happy ever after. <laughs> but it was the opposite. I fell in love with a girl 
for the very first time in my life. And when she left, she abandoned me. And I've never been abandoned before, and it felt, it felt very, very... Uh... She broke your heart. Yeah. Her name was Nikita. She was so beautiful and so different than every other girl. So I became very much in love with this woman. So when we broke up, it broke my heart a lot. Because not only did I lose my, uh, the person I was in love with, I also lost my best friend. I loved this girl so much, I started blaming myself. But that, that blaming myself took me to a very bad place until the point that after a while, it stopped even becoming about her and started becoming about me. And all my life I've been so positive. And all my life I've been uplifting people and I've been inspiring people. And for the first time, I was the opposite of everything I thought I needed to be. And I didn't want to bother anybody with this shit. Deep inside, I was depressed, all right? Even me, myself, right at this point, I struggle with saying so because we're, we're taught that that little thing called depression, it's something to run away from and something to not speak about, something that we're taught to be ashamed of. And keeping it inside and talking to you as if it never happened to me, it would be the biggest lie to myself and to you. And if I didn't come back here, I wouldn't be here. So that's why I'm here. Listen, man, I've always been a very positive person. You know, my desire to just get better, better every day. You know, I went to Paris. I wasn't working, so I had nothing I was actually building. No structure. No structure for the day. whatsoever. I can't, I can no longer feel like this about myself. Maybe it's time for a plan. Maybe I can just come back and just decide and be very selective and particular about the things that I want to work with within real estate. Listen, whenever. No, it has to be now. Now? Yeah. You know, the, the beauty about real estate is uh, it's, you know, it, it teaches you so much. I have to admit that I miss this city a lot. Now it's time to get back to work. Actually, I kind of needed this conversation because I needed to put myself in that mindset. It feels really good to have you here. He's back! So, back into business. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We're going to scream to New York. OK, he's not changed. It's crazy how much things have transpired since the time I left New York. It's, it's very beautiful to, to see it. Do you care if I just take this call really quick? Yeah, take your call. Okay. I will not leave. Wow, you're so Hello. amazing. I've been through a lot this past two years. A lot of ups, a lot of downs. You're so beautiful. But every day gets better. And seeing this only makes me happy. It, it puts no pressure on me because I have my own time. And I can't have all of these beautiful things. Uh, right now, if, I, if, I am, if there's a big part of me that's broken, I need to fix that first before I go on and have a family and, and have kids. You're a princess. Wow, that hit a nerve. Whoa, f me. I hope that's not true. That I have to fix myself before I have a kid because I am having a kid. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, what? I'm having a kid. I'm having a baby girl. Hey, guys. <laughs> Subscribe if you like the video. Click here to watch more.